Hey there, good morning guys. So it's Saturday, it's about quarter to nine. I'm going golfing again today. I'm able to get out again, do some golfing. But as you can see, that sale I just went to, I was so happy they had a bunch of blow molds there, uh, but they were all way overpriced. I was pretty excited to pull up and still see them all there. Uh, but that explains why they're all still there because he wanted 100, 150 for those two little ones. I think it said 65 for the pair. I mean, I know why he's got, they're worth a lot of money. That's probably what I would sell them at, but uh, you're not gonna get that out of the yard sale. Or maybe somebody will walk right in and collect some, who knows? But uh, yeah, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get those. On to the next one. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you caught me in my side business. <laughs> How are you? All right, so that was a pretty good sale. It's a four-person sale, and as you can see in the video, that uh, I knew the uh, uh, the lady there. Uh, that was my wonderful post office lady. Uh, I cut off the camera because uh, I don't know. <laughs> Once I knew whose sale it was, I didn't know if she wanted. Uh, to be on camera so much and then plus we were talking the whole time so i really didn't bother videoing too much but i found a lot of good stuff and i'll show you guys here in a second hey there what's happening guys thanks for coming by the channel so i'm gonna go over with you real quick uh what i found this past weekend and a couple other things here uh i don't have a whole bunch of stuff but i only went to two sales this weekend and i did do a facebook marketplace purchase a couple weeks ago i'm gonna share with you right now so I've been doing pretty good on Facebook Marketplace. Um, just selling stuff that I have already listed or uh, picking up items uh, on Facebook Marketplace to flip on eBay. Uh, it's been doing pretty good. So I saw an advertisement for uh, a guy was selling some old uh, St. Louis Cardinal football cards. Uh, so this is going back like, well, well before the 80s when I was born. Uh, but he has 600 cards and some other stuff plus this old vintage thermos, which is pretty nice. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals football for 20 bucks. So I went ahead and jumped on it because there's a lot of cards in here uh, that were like in perfect condition. Like all these cards are like excellent conditions. And I'll just show you real quick. Here's some from 1957. They just look brand new. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But the thing is with these, um, I mean, there's some popular players in here. And like, as far as like newer players, there's uh, some Aeneas Williams rookie cards, who he's a Hall, of a Hall of Famer now, played on the St. Louis Rams and on the Cardinals uh, back in the day. So, or the Phoenix Cardinals, I think is what he played on. Uh, not, I don't know, anyway. But uh, I got some Aeneas Williams in here um, and some other ones, but, and then there's some old uh, Cam Wex cards i guess cam wax did a a little thing with uh, uh the uh, st louis cardinal football team back in the day and those are in here too and they're like in great condition so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take them by there's a guy that has a local card shop that i know and he's been in the city forever and i think i just might take it into him and just kind of see what he thinks and maybe he'll offer something for me and if he doesn't uh, maybe I'll just see what he thinks I should do with them if I, there's any I should get graded or whatnot or if they really hold any value but for 20 bucks the thermos alone I think I can get probably 24 so I couldn't really pass this up so there you go with that so um, we'll see what to do I haven't really decided so let's go to the yard sale stuff here um, as you can see that one with uh, yard sale that I went to let me grab this real quick yard sale that I went to there was like all those blow molds and I was so excited to see them but they were priced way too high so I didn't buy any blow molds they were just way out of price range but I did pick up this old Coleman uh, water jug 
and uh, these vintage coolers and stuff, they do pretty good. This one does need to be cleaned up. And uh, I gotta take Mr. Lee's uh, name off it. So some goo gone uh, will help take that off. But these coolers, I should be able to get 15 bucks or so uh, plus shipping on these things. So it was only a buck, so can't beat that. And then we have uh, the one yard sale that I went to I only went to two. The second one uh, was my post office lady and her family doing a yard sale. She recognized me. But I found two of these guys. Remember these, right? I had this when I was a kid. It has all the wildlife cards in them and everything. Uh, they had two of them. She wanted two bucks for both of them. Uh, they got their stock full of cards. But those sell for like 30, 40 bucks each. Uh, if I got the comps right, I'll put them up. But I'm thinking I'm going to do both of them because one's got a crack in it. But I'll see if they have different cards in each one. And that'll be better. So we'll try that. She had this uh, old meat grinder for $1.50. Uh, but these do pretty good. Uh, I mean, not pretty good. Like $15, $20, bucks, something like that. Uh, then I got a couple of these Naralco shavers here. Uh, these do really good, guys. Uh, this one I looked up already. Norelco, it's got the serial number on the back. I'll put it up to the comp here. The power cord also fits this one. I haven't tested it yet, so if they work, that'd be great. Uh, she had four bucks for both of them. Uh, so two bucks each, uh, but like one of these sell for like 35 bucks. So that's pretty awesome there. Uh, we got these shoes here. I looked these up. These are our uh, Dan skin now. These are in really good condition. I mean, they look almost brand new. Uh, but I saw comparable ones <coughs> selling for 20, 25 bucks for that. She wanted three bucks for that. Uh, we got some coach shoes. And I looked these up. Uh, what did she want for these? Four bucks for these. Um, but I saw one sold comp for like $30 for those plus shipping. And then another pair of these Teva or Teva sandals. Again, these look like brand new. These are in really nice condition. Uh, but this sells for around 30 bucks too. So there you go. So that's pretty good. And that is it. Is that everything? I think it is. That's all I have as far as yard sale stuff. Like I said, I only went to two sales. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get to Goodwill this week, get some more stuff. But that's it. So enjoy uh, the rest of my sales that I had from last week. So weird thing kind of happened. Well, weird for me, I guess. Uh, a while back, I sold one of these wine filters to somebody. And it never showed up. I delivered it. I dropped it off to the post office. Uh, the post office says they never put the scan on it like they're supposed to. So it basically just disappeared, which I think somebody probably took my package at the post office, but that's neither here nor there. So I contacted the eBay customer. They said they never received it. I said, I can refund your order, which was $18 for this. I said, or I can send you another one. And then she said, yes, by all means, send me another one. So it's just going to basically cost me a dollar because I'm only a dollar into this. Uh, so I'll keep the original money she sent me. I'll just reprint the same label. And since no tracking was ever scanned to it or anything, I already paid for it. So I'll reprint the same label from eBay, pop it on this package, send it to her, and we're good to go. Okay, so we got this uh, Hot Wheels Grave Digger uh, storage case. Uh, I got this at a yard sale, and it was like brand new. Actually, I think I bought four of them. I have this one, or maybe it was three. I don't remember. Got that one back there, which is a different kind. And then that one is the same as this one, but the latch is kind of defective just a little bit. But this one's like brand new. Uh, so I bought a pile of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff I had in a past video at a yard sale. I think I paid 30 bucks for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, out of that pile, I sold some old videotape things, some blank cassette tapes or blank CDs, micro CDs, something like that for seven bucks. Uh, but this right here sold for 30 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer was all in for this for like 43 bucks or something like that. So there you go. All right, then I have some more of these, excuse me, wine filters going out. Uh, I've been selling these. I think I only have a couple left. Uh, there are some damage to some of the boxes, but I put that in the listing. 
uh, but I bought these at a, for a dollar each at a yard sale. Uh, somebody bought three of them, and I took an offer for $17 each. Um, I had them listed for $22, free shipping, and they wanted $17 each, free shipping. So altogether, this was for three of them, $51 um, is what it came out to, uh, free shipping. It's still going to be probably under 12 ounces, so I'm probably only going to spend five or six bucks to ship this out, so pretty good deal there. All right, we got a ball cap going on here. This is an Anheuser-Busch uh, brewery hat. Uh, I don't know if it's like an employee hat or what, or maybe it's a souvenir. I have no idea. But I got it at a yard sale for a buck. I think pretty sure I got it at a yard sale. Uh, but it sold for $6 plus shipping. All right, then we have this guy here. This was one of my old cars from my collection. I used to own an El Camino back in the day, and I collected a bunch of die-cast uh, El Camino stuff. Uh, I have another one of these, so I sold my other one. Uh, but this one, uh, so yeah, like I said, don't really have anything into this. Sold for $12 plus shipping. And there's another Funko Pop going out. We have Richard from the movie Tommy Boy. If you haven't seen Tommy Boy, he's got Chris Farley, he's got David Spade. This is David Spade's character, Richard. Uh, it's, it's a great movie. So... Highly recommended, but here's Richard from Tommy Boy. I'm into this for $1.66 each, and it sold for uh, $15 plus shipping. All right, we have this uh, putter going out here. Uh, it is MG Golf Master Grip. Uh, pretty nice putter. I think I got this at a yard sale. I don't remember. I think I paid a couple bucks for it, maybe four bucks. Uh, but not to, it didn't go for too much. Went for uh, twelve dollars plus shipping. All right, then we got this Jordan backpack going out. Uh, I think I got this at Goodwill. I want to say it was six or eight dollars, something like that. It's in pretty nice shape. I was wanting to see if my kids wanted it, but they didn't really want it. Uh, but I sold it for eighteen dollars plus shipping. All right, then we got this. Uh, this is a Marmot brand uh, windbreaker. Got this at Goodwill for four dollars. Uh, and I think it sold for like $11.30 plus shipping. All right, then we got this Peter Millar uh, shirt going on. It's actually a really nice shirt, but didn't realize until I got it home from Goodwill that it had a couple of stains on it. Uh, but I paid four bucks for this, sold it for $10, and I think it was plus shipping. Okay, then we got this uh, Vineyard Vines long sleeve shirt. I got this at Goodwill. Uh, I paid four bucks for it. Sold it for $18 plus shipping. There we go. <laughs> All right, and I've got another one of these baseball bags going out. Might be my last one. Maybe i got another one. I got this at uh, Walmart for around two bucks. It was on clearance. Um, sold it for $18 free shipping. I'm going to put it in a flat rate envelope. It's about $7.50 or so, somewhere around there. So, what is that? $9.50. Sold for 18, yeah, a little over a nine dollar profit, but about eight bucks and a half uh, after fees and everything. And down here in G, I got a Pikachu going out. I think it's this one right here. I've got a couple of these, but uh, it's the one that doesn't make any noise. This guy right here. So I uh, paid a buck for him at a yard sale, uh, and I sold it for I think it was nine dollars free shipping. Uh, it'll say in the listing. I don't remember. I just listed this last night. This is that vintage. A uh, little carrying case for uh, like Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars. I don't know what year's from, but it's definitely vintage. Uh, I bought it at Goodwill for three bucks. Just sold it for twelve dollars plus shipping. All right, I got a Funko Pop going out today. It's this one right here. This is Diana Prince uh, from Wonder Woman. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, holding the ice cream cone. Uh, from the movie Wonder Woman and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, I'm into this for $1.66. It sold on eBay for $18.99, free shipping. Okay, guys, that's it. I appreciate you coming by the channel. I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything, be sure to leave them in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Have a good week.